I'm, you know, a long time ago, I got really interested in these little Italian plays called Sintesi, the futurist plays. And uh, they were just little stabs, little like, you know, curtains would open, lights would come up, be an elaborate set, some guy would walk across the stage dragging his dog backwards, you know. So he'd be walking backwards, dragging his dog, and then <laughs> curtains close, lights are out. And little things, little goofy things like that, and I liked those, you know, and so I started thinking about just little short, very short plays and, and theater pieces. Uh, and, and that has kept cropping up over a period of time. And, and memoirs, uh, memoirs, I, I guess, is, is, is an extension in the sense that it's, it's specifically connected with songs, uh, you know, stories that about incidents or whatever that maybe songs came from. In 1967, my friend Stanley was killed in Vietnam by a landmine. He was from Hobbs, New Mexico, had crazy pinwheeling eyes, loved Coors in the can, and dipped snuff. They called him the Road Runner. I'm not sure, but I think he still holds some kind of records. And I, I called it Futurism in Reverse when I first thought of it, and I still call it that. But <clears throat> I don't know what that is, and I don't know where that these are particularly going. The sense of hurtling through great black empty space, late at night on a dead straight line of asphalt with headlights shining, driving a car as fast as it would go and listening to the wolfman on the radio turned up as loud as it would go. It's probably where every freedom I most value first began. It going a hundred miles an hour down the blue asphalt line. 